Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Right now, I need you to make sure that you've smashed the follow button or that little plus sign so that you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's story comes to us from Mateo and Miguel. Hey, guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story, and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea, and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too, let's go! Rocky the Rocket and Trend the Train were two best friends that always loved to race each other. Who do you think would win in a race between a super fast rocket and a super fast train? Well, I think we're about to find out. Whoa, I'm going as fast as I can! This is amazing! shouted Trend the Train. You see, Rocky the Rocket and Trend the Train were having a race of all races. They were trying to race as fast as they could around the whole Earth. They were zooming and zooming. You see, Trend the Train had built tracks around the whole Earth so that if he just got going as fast as he could, he could travel almost as fast as Rocky the Rocket zooming around the Earth. And just then, as the race ended, Rocky the Rocket was able to win just in front of Trend the Train. Woohoo! shouted Rocky the Rocket. Whoa, that was a good race, Trend! Yeah, that was pretty fun. Good job, you won, said Trend. And just over in the distance, something caught Trend's eye. Hey, Rocky, do you see that over there? Off in the distance... In space, just on the edge of Earth, they saw something very unusual. Rocky blasted off over to get closer. He couldn't believe it. Tren, get up here! Tren, the train, had wings so that he could fly. He wasn't as fast. He was much faster on his tracks. But his wings could get him off the ground and into the air, even space. As Tren, the train, arrived where Rocky the rocket was... They couldn't believe it. In front of them was a black hole. Where in the world did this come from? Shouted Rocky. I don't know. This was definitely not here earlier, said Tren the Train. Do you know what a black hole is? It's a very complicated thing that I don't even understand. But basically, just imagine there is a giant black hole hovering in the air. And it was like a giant vacuum. And it was trying to suck in everything that it possibly could. And the more it sucked in, the bigger it got. Oh, no. And I think it's because Rocky and Tren have been racing around the Earth. Rocky and Tren's mouths were hanging wide open because they realized what had just happened. Rocky... I think we did this. I think we were going so fast that it made a black hole. Um, what do we do? I remember learning in school that black holes cannot be destroyed. That anything around them will just get sucked in and then they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger and then... Oh no, it might swallow our whole planet, said Rocky. Hold on, there's got to be a way to fix this said Trend the Train. Uh, oh, my professor friend. Let's go fly down and talk to him. He always has all the answers. Maybe he has an idea for us. Rocky and Trend blasted off back towards Earth to head back to where their school was. There was a teacher there called Professor Whitehair, and he was the smartest of everyone. Surely he would know. Professor! shouted Rocky as Rocky and Trent burst through the door into his classroom. Oh, hey, boys! How's it going? Professor, it's not going well. We were racing around planet Earth all day and accidentally created a black hole. Rocky the Rocket was uh, known for blurting out things before totally thinking through exactly what he was going to (laughs) say. Oh, my, that is a doozy. Well... Uh, Let me see here. The professor grabbed his telescope and pointed it up towards the sky where Rocky was pointing. 
and there he saw it. Who? Oh, I've never seen one of those that close before. But yes, that, that is a black hole indeed. Holy smoly goly, said Professor Whitehair. You see, I think we messed up the whole universe. What are we going to do? Shouted Trin. Oh, hold on, hold on. There's always a way. I just need to think. Hmm. I've got it. Professor Whitehair grabbed some chalk and started furiously drawing on the chalkboard a very elaborate plan. As you know, a black hole cannot be destroyed, and it is just a matter of time before planet Earth will be sucked into its inner core, and we will be gone forever. Forever? Whoa, hold on, hold on, Rocky, Rocky, Rocky. Calm down. Well, here's my plan. I've been working on portals, and I'm pretty sure that if we set up one end of the portal right in front of the black hole, and we launch the other side of the portal on the other side of the universe, then we might be actually saved. That's actually a really good idea. You see the professor? He's really smart, like I told you. And he discovered how to make portals. Do you know what a portal is? Yeah, portals are like if you fall in on one side, it it like uh, you land on the other side in some other part of the world. It's like kind of like a uh, transporter. Think of it like that. And that's a really smart idea by the professor. What if we could just transport this black hole to somewhere far, far away that's not going to affect us? See, I knew Professor Whitehair could come through. That's that's a really good idea, said Rocky. Trin started thinking. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea, but how are, how are we going to get a portal up there? Those things are huge, said Trin. Oh, I think that if the two of you work together, then then just maybe you, you would be able to pull the portal just in front of the black hole. Just make sure that you don't get sucked in yourselves, because if you do, there's, there's nothing I can do about that, said Professor Whitehair. Over the next several hours, Rocky and Tren were received the training they needed to, to bring this giant portal into space to put in front of the black hole. Three, two, one. And just like that, Rocky and Trin, strapped on with this portal, were blasted off towards the black hole. Oh, we're going so fast, said Trin the train. He was not used to going this fast towards space. But being strapped on to Rocky the rocket, wow, that gives you some extra boost. As they arrived at the lo location they needed to make sure that they didn't get too close to the black hole or else it would suck them in. And they set up the portal just in the perfect place. All right, Trent, I need you to uh, strap it on over there to that meteor. Hurry. Trent raced over to tie the portal off on this side and as Rocky was tying it off on the other. All right, I, I think we're done here, said Trent. I think uh, the professor said that once we get it set up, the black hole will just go through the portal and and that was a whole lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, oh, oh. Rocky, help! Just then, somehow Tren the train was being sucked towards the black hole. No, Tren, hold on! Rocky grabbed some rope and threw it over towards Tren, who held on as Rocky tried to blast off away from the black hole. He was able to pull Tren just in the nick of time before he got sucked into the black hole. Oh, thank you, Rocky. That was a close one. I almost lost my caboose on that one. As Tren and Rocky returned back to the school, Professor Whitehair opened up the portal and off the black hole was sent. Wow, great job, Rocky and Tren. This was an amazing day. I never thought that I'd ever see a black hole, let alone send it through one of my portals. I just am so happy with these kinds of experiments. Well, yes, that was pretty cool, but hopefully we'll never see a black hole ever again, said Rocky the Rocket. 
Holy smokes, that was a crazy day. And I think Rocky and Tren are never going to race around planet Earth that fast ever again. The end. Great job, you listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid Shoutouts. I want to say hey to Jasper and Dorian from California, Olivia and Abby from Australia, Nilanch from Australia, and John and Thomas from Toronto, Davi and Katia from Attleboro, Massachusetts, and Noah from California. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew without you, my friends. Well, I hope you have a super duper day and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye.